fighting for justice and freedom. Good news. Today we've announced a whole range of public health social measures are going to be reduced or removed from Western Australia. Our state's emergency here. Our state's emergency here. Same margin national in Western Australia. What about if a police officer maliciously attacks people they don't like? What then? What do we do? We want people fighting for justice and freedom! Because he puts us in love to country. Are you vigilant enough? So I'm here with Rosie Cornell. She's going to be speaking at the rally today. Rosie's a lawyer in Mandurah and has been heavily involved in the freedom movement. Rosie, tell us all about the, the Kill the Bill rally. Why are we here today? Well, we're here to save democracy in Western Australia because that's what's literally on trial in there. They are deciding whether we are democracy moving forward or whether we're an autocratic government. And it's not looking good because most people haven't heard about the bill. They're not aware of the bill. They don't know the powers of the bill. I just spoke with a police officer and obviously it was very respectful. But when I asked them, well, have you read the bill? I said, no. And then they wouldn't take my word for it that they've got the power to break into my house and drag me off into a quarantine camp. Right, I'm here with William and Hannah. Um, guys, why are you here today? at the Kill the Bill rally. We're not going to let the government take over our country and our state and we're going to stand up for our state. Uh, Lisa and Justin, why are you here at the uh, Kill the Bill rally today in Perth, Western Australia? To stand up for my rights and for democracy to get rid of the tyranny of Mark McGowan and, and to kill his stupid bill. And, you know, and they couldn't answer the question, well, what are you going to do with my dogs? They couldn't answer it. It surprises me that police officers in Western Australia who are about to be turned into a, a special police force with extraordinary powers to destroy our lives have not bothered to look at it. Uh, what part of it do you think uh, frightens you the most? one person having the right to enter somebody else's property without a warrant. To me, that's trespassing. Yeah, it's definitely the invasion. Uh, as I see it, they've got too much leeway from what I can see the police. Don't politicians have to be law-abiding as well? Well, that's why we need to hold them to account. That's right. I mean, I just don't understand it, you know, some of the things that Mr McGowan's doing at the moment. You know, what I said, just, just quickly from what from what I have seen, um, you know, they can they can just kick you out of your own home, kick you out of your car, anywhere in the state, take any of your possessions whatsoever. And they, um, there there is no um, mention of when you get your property back? Definitely not. That's right, or in what condition. Yeah. But, um, this is um, our possessions. We went to work, we earned the money, we paid the taxes to get what we have, our possessions, and now you're handing that right off to one man who can walk in and take it with no, no, no warrant, no, 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 no nothing. Liability. Well, I'm a bit upset over the way that things are going in Australia. I came over because it was a lucky country. What are they doing with us? Have you noticed, Edith, how they, they no longer use the term the lucky country? Yes, that ended quite a while ago. That's what they use, but as of the older generation, it was the country we left our homeland because this was a lucky country and we knew we would prosper in here. And yet they're taking everything off us that once they gave to us. You feel betrayed by that? Yes, I do. Uh, I feel betrayed by it as well. I want to say, like, I came here from a socialist country, having grown up with documentaries about Nazi Germany and what's been done to humanity, 
and I have seen the same thing repeated. Okay, uh, Jody and Mel, how are you today? Uh, well, thanks. How are you? Really great. Uh, why is it that you're here at the Kill the Bill rally today? Well, because I don't fancy uh, Marky Boy coming or sending coppers into my house without a warrant. And for anything. And for anything. And then taking us away and doing what they want with us. What the and, hell? And Jody, uh, that also includes not just your house, it also includes your business. Yeah, I know. And they've already targeted me once, so, yeah. you know, are they going to do it again? God, I hope not. For sure. What part of it frightens you the most? It's about the not, not having a warrant. They can just come in, bang down your door, break in. Invasion of privacy. Yeah, and what for? What, because we're unjabbed. Did you notice that um, there are no sections in that anywhere where it talks about when their rules end? I know that there's a sunset clause after two years, but if they decide to take you off to Ballsbrook, there's no mention of uh, when you get out. It's no. The only mention is that it's up to the officers involved. Yeah, scary. It's very scary. So scary. Scared for my whole family yeah. and friends. Yeah. This is wrong. Do you think that if Mark McGowan's home became a quarantine site, do you think that uh, he'll be losing his home and going to Bullsbrook? <laughs> doubt it. Doubt it. No God. way. I tend to agree with you. Yeah. Uh, well, look, mate, it all started with the uh, mandates. Um, I just thought that they were unconstitutional, um, unwarranted, um, diabolical in their nature because the vaccines were experimental. Um, that was made very clear at the outset. I'm here today because this bill that the parliament wants to pass is absolutely draconian, tyrannical, and we cannot let this happen. We need to stand up and make noise and let them know we're not happy with this. Mm. Have you had a quick uh, chance to have a quick look at the bill yet? Yeah, I have. I have read it. What is uh, What about that particularly strikes you as being dangerous? There are so many things that are dangerous in that bill. There are particularly that the fact that they can do this when an unelected official decides to, with no warrant, with no approval or passing through the parliament. They just can impose this whenever they want. And that's quite scary. How does one man have this much power? Yeah, we'll keep fighting men till the end. We won't stop and we will win, for sure. Why have they not even read the bill? They're going to be the ones enforcing. And you know what the Nuremberg trials taught us? Uh, I, I didn't know it's not an excuse. I was only following orders. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is time they remembered something. You work for us.